Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about avoiding lectins reverses endothelial dysfunction. This is a huge topic. Dr. Gundry has presented at a poster presentation at the American Heart Association the data from taking 100 consecutive patients, I think that was the number, 100 consecutive patients, not a randomized placebo controlled trial, but nevertheless measuring the endothelial function of people prior to treatment and then after treatment. And in the process, he also gave them uh, potent anti-inflammatory agents, pycnogenol and grapeseed extract and fish oil. And what he showed was that endothelial dysfunction got better. Well, the question is, what is endothelial dysfunction? It's the first step to you developing coronary artery disease. It's the first stage in getting high blood pressure. It's the first step of accumulating lipids. It's the angry feeling the lining of your blood vessels get when they get assaulted by the modern foods that make them inflamed. And we now know you can reverse that. Grapeseed extract is particularly potent, as is pycnogenol. Pycnogenol is Mediterranean pine bark. And if you notice all these beautiful pines behind me here, unfortunately don't have pycnogenol in them. This is northern Wisconsin red pines. Uh, but the real issue is, do you want to reverse your coronary artery disease? And can we do it with food and supplements? What will work for me? Well, when I read this study, I bought myself grapeseed extract and pycnogenol, which you can do. And I am now faithfully taking them. I measured my endothelial dysfunction on a little device we have that's with your finger. You can actually check the shape of your pulse. And as the shape of your pulse improves as your arteries get stretchier and that comes back, you can show that it's getting better. And as an older 67-year-old man, I can show that my endothelial dysfunction is modest, but I'd like to get it perfect check back with me in six months. Let's see if we've gotten there. In the meantime, I can't wait till Dr. Gundry publishes more of his studies. This is Dr. John Whitcomb finishing up endothelial dysfunction is cured with supplements and diet.